Hello and welcome, I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. A lawyer is asking the Philippine Supreme Court to stop Vice President Jejomar Binay from leading the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. Jesus Nicardo Fauces says Binay violated the prohibition against dual or multiple offices. He also accuses Binay of, quote, grave abuse of discretion in leading the BSP. Former BSP presidents hold the post a maximum of seven years. Binay is now in his 19th year. Binay's spokesperson Rico Quicho says the BSP is sui generis or a class by itself. The Philippines wins the first round of the historic case against China over the West Philippine Sea or the South China Sea. The arbitral tribunal in The Hague says it has the right to consider the Philippines' claim that China's nine-dash line is illegal. This comes after China argued the tribunal has no jurisdiction over the case. China slams the decision and refuses to participate. The Court of Appeals junks the petition of dismissed Makati Mayor Junjun Binay on the Ombudsman's second suspension order against him. Ombudsman Conchita Morales issued the first one in March and the other in June over alleged anomalies in Makati infrastructure projects. Vice President Binay's spokesman Joey Salgado says the mayor's lawyers filed a motion for reconsideration. China ends its controversial one-child policy and allows two children for every couple. The controversial policy started in the late 1970s when officials tried to control the population boom and boost the economy. Today, the new policy aims to revitalize China's graying workforce and end gender imbalance. An unmanned NASA spacecraft dives through the icy plume of Saturn's moon, Enceladus. The Cassini probe skims 49 kilometers above Enceladus's south pole to collect data from the icy spray. The first images are expected in the next 24 to 48 hours. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates at 12 noon and at 6 p.m. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.